guys welcome back to another video as I promised you this morning uh, today's video is going to be my match review on the Man United vs Wolves game uh, let's get into it it's agony ecstasy we're all one big family we've got each other's back we're, we're the wolf pack we're Where can I start? Um, first off, for Wolves, was very, very defensive, which was bound to happen because what it seemed like was Nuno went for the first half. Let's just see the game out for the first half to see how United want to approach this and see how they want to attack and how we can camp, like, catch them on the counter attack. But the first half an hour, we did that pretty well, actually, in my opinion really really well uh Bolly did well as a right center back um then donker wasn't meant to, well then donker wasn't in the starting armor like i said so say slide in this as the left the left center back and it did really well, well as well um we we kept we kept some of their key players quiet for the first half you say um bruno fernandez obviously their new signing did well it did okay he didn't do the best like I said in the previous video, he could just come. This is his first Premier League game, and he's not gonna really find it easy, easy really, for like a new player coming into the the Premier League. Some people they do fantastic. Some people they take the time, and some people it's not for them. Bruno Fernandez, I don't think he's gonna be one of them players where he's not gonna fit in the Premier League because he's shown some some good passes, um, and some and some good. Um, some good play for Man United, um, but their standout player all game was Mata and Maguire. Um, first half, Maguire kept uh, Traore in his pocket, even though uh, he did foul Traore and popped his shoulder out. I'm not going to get into that, uh, even though it was a foul. Um, the Maguire did really, really well. Um, he even had a, a shot at the first half. I think he was against Trans Tranmere. Nah, mate, you went against Tramia, you against the Mighty Wanderers. <laughs> so that's, well, luckily, just went wide anyway. Sliced the shot. Um, but the first half, we did really, really well. Second half, we came out and did it well again. Same, same kind of mentality when it comes to the, the counter attacking football. But we did really, really well to actually keep our defensive line. Um, this, the the weakness in the team today was Doherty in all fairness even though he did he did kind of go up and down and he mainly stayed forward when he needed to um, he did like let Luke Shaw and Mata into that left hand flank where he should have that 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 that, that, that like his positioning he should have that kind of position on the pitch to unlock uh, Johnny does it all the time Seems like Doherty's losing his position a little bit more. Thinks he's more attacking um, than he is defensive. Um, he's a good player, but today he, he was a weakness in the team. He was a weak link. Um, the standout player for us um, was Jimenez. All game, he was the person to spray, spray passes left, right and centre. He was the one who needed to hold the ball up when he did. He did it well. Um... He did really, really well. Jimenez did. The he did have that shot, which is off, offside. Obviously, that was only our one only chance, really, like key, like key clear shot, like clear cut chances. But doing it, De, De Gea pulled it out. Like even if it wasn't offside, that was a really, really good save by De Gea. Just proves why he's known as one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Um, it was more. Kind of, I think both teams didn't deserve the three points. That's the thing, because you know it didn't have the the strength and the strike force to kind of finish the game off. But neither did we, because we were more trying to keep back. And then when we tried to push the the ball forward, like Jimenez was on his own half the time, and it wasn't good enough because United kept getting the ball back. And we they like for example they had sixty four percent possession. That was just because obviously we were just hoofing the ball up and trying to get like, on the counter attack. Sometimes it wasn't working and sometimes it was. Um, but then 
Toriyawe didn't have his best game today for me. Um, he did well, just not to the standard where he usually is. Um, he did have, like, I think it was the first half he had a shot. Um, and he could, could have played the ball to Doherty, even though he didn't. Um, and he just didn't seem to be himself today. He did get two injuries, the, obviously the shoulder one, and then he had some, I think it was his metatarsal in his foot. Because he, because he, because he's subject, he, uh, what do you say, who, I think, oh yeah, Daniel P uh, Pedance came on for him. Um, the three substitutions we did make was obviously the, the Neto. Neto in NDL. <laughs> I'm going to go into it. Just say the NDL. Um, he's, he's a cracky player, Neto is. Came on, showing us this kind of style we did. Came on for Jota. Now Jota, I believe, had a little bit of a, a weak game as well. There was that chance where he managed to dribble through a few players. He just didn't get the, the power he needed on the shot to even test the keeper. Never mind anything else. But Neto came on and played really, really well. Um, but And then obviously then Donka came on as more of a defensive like substitution. But Daniel Pudance, when he came on, oh my god, this kid is going to be one of our best players like this season, well, the rest of the season and for next season. Um, I, heard, I heard Neville compare him to Hazard. And there's a number of people saying, yeah, he's like Hazard because he's got his low centre of gravity. He knows how to spread the board. He's got the pace. To be honest, he's a good player. But from what I saw today, he's such a cracking player. He's going to be a, bit, a good player in our team. Um, he, When he came on, he changed the game for us because we had that first bit of the second half where we, did, we played really, really, really well. And then obviously then it went dead for because obviously we're trying to get the, the counter-attack and United have most possession. But the last 15, well, the last, well, 10, 15, well, I don't think, probably the last 10 minutes, he came on and changed the game for us. And we were most likely to win the game then. Um, so, that, that, to be honest, he's a really, really cracking player. Um, I'm a bit gutted that Leo Camp Campana wasn't on the bench either. Um, that would have been nice to see him play his first Premier League game for under Nuno. Um, but... Stats wise, their Man United had 224 passes in our half, and we only had 54. So it just shows you that the fact that we were just trying to sit back and take as much pressure as we can, which we took really, really well. It's a well earned point. I am not complaining. After seeing this game and we got the point, I was happy. I wouldn't even be happy if we got the three points, obviously. Um, but that means United have now gone 12 games unbeaten against us at home. Which means they've got uh, nine wins and three draws. Um, it just shows you. It just it really does show you. Um, I think then into we need to go into our next game with the same mentality as we did today, but a little bit more attacking than it was defensive. For some strange reason, it's like we're trying to go against the, one of the, the the lower league te like they're not lower league. The the, the teams are lower in the league. Um, then we did like, for example, Liverpool and Man City. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Um, <sighs> the fact they only had one clear cut chance and they only had two. It just shows you. Whenever I go watch bloody Man United games, like I did the match day vlog, it was a nil nil draw. That was a really boring game that that was. There was only one chance and it was offside or handball, which was Doherty. Today was a little bit more exciting at least. Because there was uh, Man United attacking us, us defending really well and they did, did, did really, really well. But man of the match for me is going to be Jimenez. Um, and then man of the match for them is either going to be Mata or Maguire. Or even wan actually. That's a shout actually because he, he, right... Well, Pisaki was really, really well. And this is coming from a war fan. I've I been mean, mostly talking about Man United, don't I? But this is because I'm I'm praising what they did today. They seem like they changed a little bit. Like, the players, that, the key players that needed to step up, stepped up today. And the, our key players stepped up to the to the mark, to a mark where they can just be just above average. And they say, I'll have for a draw anyway. Anyway. Um, I'm going to sign off here. Um, I hope you guys 
enjoy this video and my rant about Man United and Wolves being can't shoot properly can they the our social medias will be in the description below I want your thoughts on the game down below Wolves fans Man United fans any fans down below um if you did like give us a thumbs up if you didn't like give me a thumbs down positive criticism and any, any feedback just down below all right and Peace.